Hey, I'm Chris, and I've always been very close with my mom. I guess it's because my dad left us when I was a baby. Ever since, our favorite activity was her breastfeeding me. But on my 10th birthday, she asked me if I wanted to stop doing it. I was shocked and started crying, because I loved drinking my mom's milk. It tastes much better than cow milk, because even though it starts off a bit watery, after a few seconds it gets really creamy. Yum! What? It's gonna take me a few minutes to process what the fuck I just heard. I'm praying to every single god that this story is not fucking true. Oh, fucking hell, man. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, cheeseburger and charger. Welcome back to the channel. Or if this just so happens to be your first time here, then I would recommend that you check out my other videos. But then again, my videos are pretty fucking shit, so I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. But anyways... Animated story time videos. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here, okay? I know my videos are not the best of quality, okay? I know that. But these... These videos are a new level of fucking shit. Now, when I say animation story time videos, I don't mean videos like Odd Ones Out or Jane Animations. I mean videos like these. The videos from channels like Share My Story and all that shit. They just look so fucking bad these look like really poorly made south park episodes that got scrapped how the fuck can you make this and think that it's finished if you don't fucking go back and open your laptop and redo this entire fucking video these videos are a disrespect to anybody who has any form of appreciation for art now i had to take a minute to just hate on the artwork because it's just it's so fucking bad just fucking look at this shit i could take a bet that every single person right now watching this video could make a drawing better than this and naturally because this is YouTube these videos are gonna get hundreds and thousands of views I mean is anyone even remotely surprised when we have shit like this going trending anything can reach the mainstream now I wouldn't be hating on the artwork at all even because there are some youtubers out there with objectively worse art but the reason why they get away with it is because they're actually entertaining these stories are just so fucking shit just because you're telling really weird stories doesn't make it good these are the kind of stories you'd hear a drunk homeless man outside of a gas station telling you just so you could buy him a bag of doritos my mom's new husband had a gorgeous daughter named elaine I met her at the wedding and said, Hey, I'm Joe, your new stepbrother. Oh, God. Just stay away from me, you creep. Huh? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, sure. My dad deserves better than you. You don't even have a job. Sure I do. I just took some time off from work because I'm pregnant. Are you kidding me? You're such a freeloader. Yeah, what the fuck? If you're pregnant, then you should work anyway. What the fuck? Obviously, you only have a literal human being inside of you. You should go work. How lovely of you. Thank you, Elaine. No, Mom! You can't eat that! I think Elaine wants to poison you and the baby! Oh, Joe. That again? So she's just magically not pregnant anymore? I can't get over how fucking bad the animation is. It's okay. I'm not the best cook anyway. Don't be modest. It looks delicious. It looks like fucking vomit. No! Let her eat it first! Show me it's safe to eat! But I'm not hungry! I made her try it anyway, and forced it in her mouth. Uh... Uh... Okay... Pretty sure that's right. Elaine spit the food out, saying, Ugh! While her dad screamed, Get away from my daughter, you scumbag! I was grounded for life. This story is as true as my 12 inch penis. This sounds like the plot of a 12 episode anime. Yeah, sure, your stepsister tried to poison your unborn sibling and you just so happened to get caught by your stepdad. Fuck off. I'm believing R. Kelly before I believe that shit. I mean, these stories range from like normal who the fuck cares kind of shit to 
there is literally no way that that happened. I'm sorry, okay? You did not give birth during class, okay? That shit just did not happen. And if the stories aren't completely boring or just flat out impossible, then the stories are just... Why the fuck would you tell anybody about this? I know it's called share my story and all, but seriously, some stories are not meant to be shared. That's why I told her I would never stop drinking her milk. And to this day, every morning and every evening, my mom comes into my room to breastfeed me. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? That has to be against some kind of law. Like, please, this... No, no, stop. Stop doing this. Can you guys just imagine, like, a full-blown teenager just sitting on his bed with his mom and she's just... Oh, what the fuck? Fuck, man. I guess the only weird thing is that I'm 16. Only? That's the only weird thing? And not that your adult middle-aged mother is perfectly okay with breastfeeding her child past the age of one? Fucking hell. And when I asked one of my classmates if he'd rather drink milk from a cow or from his mom, he started laughing because he thought I was making a joke. But I don't think it's something to laugh about. I mean, what's wrong about being breastfed as a teenager? Sometimes I just don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. What the fuck is this? A 16 year old boy suckling his own mother for milk? Oh bro, what the fuck is this channel? What is this channel? What am I looking at, man? Her style of parenting already made me become the weird kid in school. In all fairness, man, you are the weird kid in school. You still get fucking breastfed at the age of 16. Because whenever something happens that I don't like, I just start crying or screaming. I know it's immature, but I can't help it. My emotions just take over. And yet you ask what's wrong with being breastfed as a teenager. I'm sorry, Chris, but if you don't see the issue here, then you're the issue here. And I'm not planning to stop breastfeeding anytime soon. I simply enjoy it too much. But I do know that at some point, I need to grow up and become independent of my mom. Because right now, I'm a pathetic weasel that can't even take care of himself. So if I ever want to have a wife and kids, I first need to become a mature and reliable man. I can't name a single mature, reliable man who is being breastfed by his mother. You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean about this channel being fucking weird? I mean, these stories are just like, where do you find these people? And honestly, that's one of the tame ones. I mean, there are some really fucking weird stories on this channel. Stories that even I, yes, me, stories that I don't even want to watch. Mainly because I can't even sit through one of these videos for five minutes. The content is just so bad. I feel like I'm watching animated fanfic from a 14 year old girl in a set A English class. Hey, I'm Tessa, and my brother Theo always wants to feel special and important. I guess that's why he suddenly became a vegan even though he had never cared about animal rights before. Ah yes, the proud vegan. I can tell he's vegan because he has vegan on his shirt, which is probably made out of cotton, which comes from sheep and alpacas, so it would be considered an animal product, so technically... But then he said, you don't understand how much those animals suffer. I bet my next birthday and Christmas present that if you lived like an industrial pig for just one week, you would become a vegetarian afterwards and never eat meat again. No, she'd probably be dead afterwards. Mainly from diseases and bacteria. Pigs are filthy. So I agreed to his stupid bet. Two days later, he had built a cage for me in our barn. Yeah, it took a single teenage boy two days to build a human-sized cage. What an engaging story. And pigs don't stay in cages, they sleep in them. Most pigs stay on barns. It was so tiny, and when I went inside, I could only stand straight or lie down. But there was no space to move or walk around. And then, my brother threw a load of mud on me to make things more realistic. It was disgusting. No shit. No, but seriously, where's the shit? I mean, pigs literally shit on themselves too. I could use the bathroom twice a day if Theo could dump pig shit from our neighbor's farm on me. Oh man, 
I was so naive. Where are your parents? Did they just not question why one of their children is sleeping and living in the barn, covered in mud and shit? And why do the neighbors just let him collect pig feces? What is going on here? But luckily, Popo got my parents and led them to the barn where they found me in the cage, covered in pig feces, suffering from a cold. My parents immediately stopped the so-called "my sister is a pig" experiment and sent me to take a shower and get some rest. Why would you ever do a "my sister is a pig" experiment? What parents would honestly allow this? I mean, she could have literally died. But don't worry, guys. I'm 99.8% sure that this story is fake. Well, I. I hope it's fake, fucking hell. But I think it's pretty obvious which ones might be real and which ones are just no, like this did not happen. No, you're not a teen mom living in a sewer, okay? You're a teenager submitting fanfic of yourself to a YouTube channel. And I'm guessing the way this channel works is that they ask their viewers or fans to submit stories. Then they shitly animate them with soulless voice actors. I mean, these guys sound like fucking zombies. But for the most part, I think it's pretty clear that these stories aren't real. I mean, most of them are like, poor guy has a hard life and then becomes a billionaire. Yeah, okay, sure, because there are this many billionaires out there in the world. I think it's pretty clear who the demographic is here because I don't see any grown adult actually sitting down and watching these. And I don't see any grown adult actually believing any of this. But I think we all know by now that children's content is not so child friendly anymore. But I just think it's weird to be fantasizing and writing fanfic about yourself living in a pig's cage. To be honest, I don't know if it's worse if these stories are real or not. Because yes, it is weird to be breastfed at age 16, okay? I know that. But it's also weird to be writing fanfic and fantasizing about being breastfed at age 16. I also think it's kind of weird how a bunch of kids are just coming up with these really weird stories. But then again, what is normal about today's modern day? When I was growing up, I was watching Odd One Zhao in Young Dun the Source God, but now there's this. These videos are so poorly made, it's actually funny. I mean, they make animation videos four days a week. No wonder it looks like animated Play-Doh. And by the looks of it, it seems like they only have one animator doing the job. It's almost like they want it to look like shit. But then again, I gotta respect the hustle. Four days a week posting is a grind. But it still doesn't excuse these kind of stories. I hope these shitty little animation videos die out by the time that I become a parent. I'd rather not have my kids watching a 16 year old get fucking breastfed. Ah, oh, so weird. But anyways guys, this is in fact the end of the video and if you liked, please leave a like and if you didn't, then feel free to degrade me in the comments. I also want to say thank you for all the love and support that you guys show this channel. I feel like I say this a lot, but seriously, bro, thank you. I refuse to believe that I'm actually entertaining you guys with these shitty little videos. But seriously, I appreciate all the support. Thank all of you guys. Well, with all that said, make sure you guys check out my socials. Links are in the description. Until next time, make sure to drink your water and get enough sleep at night. Okay, goodbye. D4C no Saranar Dunkai da! Koe ni omogai! D4C! No, I gotta keep my fire on. Fire on, fire on, fire on. Then my whip on fly. That girl on my left. That bitch on my right on. Damn your heels, they so high. Yeah, get your height on. Yeah, smoke that guy like Shaq.